Welcome. Uh, today we're going to do a mock Y Combinator interview. Uh, y Combinator interviews are um, famous for giving you very, very little time, I think like 10 minutes or 15 minutes to present your company. So it's really important you have a succinct way to describe it. So that's uh, what I'm going to uh, help uh, this startup with. Uh, maybe uh, not introduce the startup yet, but uh, maybe introduce yourselves. I'm Sid, uh, CEO and co-founder at GitLab. Nicolas, you first. I'm Nicolas, 23 years old from Buenos Aires and tech entrepreneur. I'm the co-founder and CEO of Human. Hello, everyone. My name is Hedo, 22 from Buenos Aires. I am the CTO and co-founder of Human. Cool. Um, in this interview training, I'm going to have a ton of opinions loosely held. So I'm going to say all kinds of stuff. Half of it is probably wrong. So uh, I'm just going to give you advice. It doesn't mean please don't follow it to the letter. You're in control of your company. You're going to kind get all kinds of advice that doesn't make sense, that contradicts each other. I'm going to do give advice to the best of my abilities. To make sure it's clear, I'm going to word it like a strong statement, but it doesn't mean it is or you have to change it. I'm just trying to be clear in my communication. That's amazing. I'm, 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 I'm glad you, you will be giving us advice because you're in a position with a lot of experience and amazing accomplishments. So we will probably hear, hear uh, very clearly. Yeah, that GitLab is doing okay doesn't mean that my interview training is any good. Uh, so please don't conflate the, the two. But I'll try to help. Uh, I'm very grateful to my wife who did, did interview training with me and cut me off every single time I, I spent more than a sentence asking, answering a question. It was super helpful. So let's start off. What do you guys do? So we built an HR app to communicate digitally and solve HR tasks from the phone. What is the problem? The problem is that... Oh, oh that's the second sentence. Okay. Uh, it's an app. I, I get it. Um, right. It's something to do with HR. I, I probably know what that is. Maybe differentiate a bit because I know Gusto, I know Culture Amp, I know, uh, what's it called? Um, I know lots of HR startups. So let's try again, like what the HR app, you make an, H, uh, you, an HR app, what does the AR, HR app help people with? All right, so existing options like Wise's Gusto help companies manage their people on the company side. However, they don't provide a smooth way for these employees to solve HR tasks, like reporting absenteeism, booking their holidays, and performing tasks that they need to do every day. Okay, um, I'm gonna go a bit extreme here. You'll have more time during YC, but I'm gonna go on the extreme side because it's more fun for me and hopefully it will push you in a direction that, that's helpful. But can we say in one sentence what it does and without a comparison, just like, um, Yomant is an, uh, it's an app that helps with uh, human resources tasks and timekeeping or something like that. Of course, of course. We, with our app, we let employees do target announcements, service, and solve HR tasks from their phone. And there are a lot of employees who are at factories or plants and don't have a desktop PC in front of them. So they need HR solutions on their phone. It's like Slack, but for HR tasks. Okay, that's great. That's that's getting better. Um, uh, don't don't talk too fast, especially with video and COVID and and everything else. Um, so it's an HR app. I think it's primarily aimed at the employees. It's employee facing. Like I don't get whether you're are you going to replace Workday or. Are you going to complete replace the ADP time tracking stuff or like, like especially for industrial employees, especially distributed blue collar employees who doesn't have a desktop PC in front of them. So they okay. need to be on the phone and on the move. So they need to, for example, reporting absenteeism, reporting holidays, uh, reporting they are staying at home today or any kind of, of HR tasks that they want to report, do it directly by their phone. Okay, so industrial makes me think of a large car manufacturer, so a large automobile plant, while blue collar could also mean service employees who are out in the field, uh, stuff like that, and 
much bigger market probably than the industrial one, much easier to sell into as a startup. So is it people that like the not knowledge workers, blue collar is probably a good way to say it, or is it about industrial? Well, our beachhead market, we are trying to focus first on, on plants and factories and, and industrial manufacturing workers, but the, the application is totally suitable for also blue collar workers, like you said, for example, distributed uh, uh, workers who doesn't have a corporate email. So how do you how do you a company communicate with a worker who doesn't have a corporate email? So they need an app where they sign in with their employee ID and they receive the communication and solve the HR task from their phone. Ah, that is that is that I learned something. Like I can't I I can't. But well. Maybe not. Maybe it's hard for me to imagine employees without an email address. Like I've never had an employee without an email address and we're a bit stuck in our ivory towers in Silicon Valley. So I like that yeah. analogy. Like if an employee without an email address, I instantly know it's, it's not a knowledge worker and, and what type you're talking about. Um, so it's, it's an, employee communication tool uh, that's a bad description by the way so don't use that one but it's an employee mm -hmm. communication tool for blue collar workers that commonly don't even have that commonly don't even have an, a company email address that's a very accurate description actually okay so let's work on the first part because employee communication tool like um i do my time sheets with this i assume i do my pay time off I think that's called time tracking as a category, but I'm not super familiar. What, what is the category and what, what is in there? The main categories you report using the app are, for example, absenteeism, plant injuries, holidays, if, if you are staying at okay. home. Is, is that a time reporting system? Is that the name for that? I think it's more like, because there are tasks that companies have to handle but there are things that employees have to report themselves. For example, if they are not going to work today, they have the employee has to report that to the company and the company has nothing to do with, uh, with that. It has to come from the employee. So we are focusing on those kind of tasks where the initiative has to come from the employee and not from the company. And the, okay. the most convenient way is to do it by their phone. Okay, so you make an app where blue collar workers that commonly don't even have an email address can request time off through their mobile phone. Yeah, that's true. Time, time off and other kind of, of, of HR tasks, yeah. Okay, and then probably we can scrap the making an app. You help blue collar workers who commonly don't have, don't even have a company email address to request time off through their mobile phone. That's Perfect. very great. That's a great description. Cool. It's, it's not just for, for reporting time off, but we also do other tasks too. But yes, I think it's a very great. accurate way. What, what, else, what else do we do? Because it's a pretty short sentence. We can probably add something to it. All right. Yeah, it, it helps a lot with communication digitally too. For example, if you're a director and, and your employees doesn't have a corporate email, how do you, how do, you do to reach them? So with our app, you can do a targeted announcement to send a, a, a targeted message with a push notification to a certain group of people, who, for example, who, who are in a plant, or you want to send a message to some to all the interns of the company, you send a message and it, it arrives with a push notification in their phones. Cool. Um, company announcements, basically. Yeah. Perfect. Yes, it's a combination of company announcements and HR tasks coming from the actions and initiatives from the employee. Yeah, but I mean, HR acts coming from the initiative of the employee, like, I don't know, is it a sexual uh, assault hotline? Like, it, it, that could be many, many things. I, right. I, I'd keep it, I keep it super simple, unless you do like five different things. But if it's mainly time off, then leave that. let's do that. Perfect, perfect. Yeah, you can also attach surveys to the announcement, for example. It's a communication tool for companies. We, we believe that if, if you want to accelerate okay. internal communications in, in companies, you have to focus on communication and you have to focus on to HR. Totally time. with you. Like, like, but name one startup that isn't a communication tool. Good point. 
Great. So the communication tool, I used it earlier. I already prefaced that, like, oh, that was a bad description. Like, don't call something a communications tool because every, everything is. Uber is a communication tool between drivers and people who want to go somewhere. Um, cool. Request time off, get company announcements. Uh, what, else, what else can the app do? Or is that the two main things? Did we nail it? Yeah, you can run also targeted surveys. For example, if you want to ask something to the employees, you can run a, surf, a survey with multiple options and a, the survey can be targeted to, if you like an announcement with a survey attached. You can, you can also ask about your salary report, for example, because right now, blue collar workers, when they want to get their salary report because they don't have mails and they don't have PCs in front of them, they have to go personally to somewhere and have it handed over by hand. So in this application, another HR task they can do is get their salary report, for example. They can get their, it's not called a salary report. It's called your pay slip, right? Yes. Yeah, probably. We have We're going to cheat really... by having a, a long sentence, but we help blue collar workers without a company email to do typical, typical HR tasks, such as requesting time off, getting their pay slip, receiving company announcements, filling out surveys and asking questions all through their mobile phone. That's right. Cool. Great. Um, how does it work? It's so obvious to me how this works that I'm not going to ask that. How did you come up with this idea? Well, my uncle is the HR director of McDonald's Latin America, and we saw personally how he was dealing with communication digitally with their more than 100,000 employees, especially distributed employees who were at different restaurants. He didn't have a, a, a way. Of texting? Reality. Yeah, but they, they don't have corporate email. So yeah, yeah, so calling and texting. How do you reach uh, a, an employee in a restaurant if he doesn't have an email? You have, have a the... mobile phone? Exactly. So we are riding the wave because for the first time right now, even the lowest paid employee in a company have a mobile phone with good yeah. connectivity. So that's why I said calling and texting. Like they were calling and texting instead of sending emails. Yeah. But we provide an app so you don't need, for example, to have in the the phone of their employee. That makes sense. How did you know this person? He's my uncle, actually. Okay, so your uncle. And um, okay, that's nice that your uncle has a background in it, but what makes the two of you suited to this? Were you working, looking for a startup idea or how did you, why, why did you, why did you decide to do this? We, we saw the problem uh, by my uncle and, and we, we are really passionate about we believe we have a strong belief that enterprise software is going to be mobile and we have an excellent team of software engineers who can build beautiful products for the enterprise and also we have eight former hr directors as advisors so so we believe we have the perfect team to solve this kind of problem okay um what people really want to hear is more that like you weren't really walking around looking for a startup idea but you kind of got into this by accident. So I want to hear about, okay, did your uncle say, oh, darn, uh, I have to spend so much time on this. And then you said, well, let me help you uncle. Or like, tell me a bit more of the start, the, the story. Like people want kind of a story to attach to. Um, it's nice if it's true. And I recommend that, especially for your YC application. But like in, in historically people, people just made something up. Like eBay was for pest dispensers and, uh, YouTube was to share holiday videos and turns out 10 years later that 20 years later that that wasn't even factual, but whatever. But people tell something factual, but tell something more on a, like how did that conversation with your uncle go? And did you write something down on a napkin or something? I don't know what the case was, but, but give me color. Give me, give me something to relate to as a person. So, so when, when, when we identify this problem through Nico's uncle, 
we, we, that called us the attention and we decided to dig deeper into that. We got to the point that we, we decided to help him so much that we had the approval to organize an event for McDonald's Corporation in LATAM to gather other 50 professionals from other 50 big companies in Argentina. We invited them to this sort of hackathon and see if they had a similar problem. So this event took place in McDonald's headquarters and we had a lot of people agreeing that this was a big problem in their companies too. Yeah, um, that's so, totally what you should do. That's good that you did that. Um, it's not the, I wanna hear a story. I don't wanna hear market research. It's good that you do market research, but uh, tell, tell, me, tell me more about your relationship with your uncle or tell me more about how you, how you listened in for four hours while your uncle was texting and thought this doesn't make sense or give me something to relate to, uh, relate to you as a person, not, not as a business owner. So I personally, I'm very passionate about developing digital products. I code since I'm nine years old. So that's the reason I went into software engineering and I love hey, Give it, no, no, I, I want this divine inspiration. Like you were talking with your uncle and then a lightning bolt from heaven came and and something, something changed. I wanna be in that moment. Like, tell me something that was special about that day. Maybe it was late at night. Maybe okay. you had a drink with your uncle. Like, t tell me something like that. I, I think, I think what, what you're referring to. So the reason why we decided to dig deeper into this was because when we realized about this problem Nico's uncle was having, was that so many people were wasting so many hours doing their current HR tasks. So instead of, doing something in one minute they could probably spend one hour waiting for someone yeah this is all okay i'm gonna gonna have one more try take me back to your uncle describing this problem and make it into a telenovela a tv soap opera and make it interesting for 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 i i might have watched too much Jane the Virgin, because my wife is watching it, but take me, make it interesting for someone who doesn't give a rat's ass about software or anything else. Okay, perfect. Maybe the story of how we close our first client is more funny and interesting. Great, because Let's take, take me there. When we was talking with, with my uncle and, and we discovered this problem and skipping all the research and, and this hackathon, then we have to, all we have was a prototype. So then we have to close our first client. Then we enrolled in a tender from a really big company, the biggest steel producer in the world, ArcelorMittal. And then we enrolled in this tender where they were searching a digital transformation in the communication of this company. We enrolled in that tender with our only prototype and as entrepreneurs, and we, was, we were competing against Facebook Workplace and other 20 well-established companies. And we won that tender, and that's how we got our first paying client with a $100,000 contract for two years that, that is a great that's a much better story but audience tell a novella so i don't even care what a tender is great a tender is like a competition against different companies yeah no no I, yeah, I know what a tender is yeah, the people the people the people who want to hear this but, but if you do that with your telenovela people are going to zone out even if they know what a tender is because it's not good content so that's I want to hear about a long night or, or th think about this a bit more. We're not making a ton of progress. Um, I think what you give, give us something to relate to you as a human, a human that had great inspiration or great perseverance or something like that. Um, Amazing. That's a, that's a great tip. Um, what kind of companies are you targeting? That's pretty clear. What are people doing today without your tool? Yeah, I know already, but I want a one sentence answer. What are companies doing today without your tool? So, Jero, wanna, wanna say that? Or? Yeah, so without our tool, right now, blue collar employees have to walk into an office and spend hours to solve HR tasks or have low level managers tell them something in person without directors reaching them directly through a digital communication app. Okay, and, and there's maybe, that's, that's one sentence, so great that you stuck to this. And there's the problem, 
it's great that the, the workers have the problem, but in order to sell the app, it's even better that the people who make that purchasing decision have that, have that problem. So I would do it from almost from the perspective of them. So one of them is like, hey, they don't have a direct connection and it all gets translated badly through many layers of management. It's like a telephone game. Is there another problem? Because you talked about your uncle being on the phone too much. Like, uh, is, is there a problem there? That's amazing. Yeah, we are giving also the directors the ability to get in touch instantly with their employees in ways they have never done before. Yeah, in a, in a scalable way, yeah? through surveys and things like that. Okay. Um, what makes you different from the existing options? So HR tools that are existing out there, they provide a solution for the company side and they help them manage their people and also store data, but they don't provide their employees a smooth way to solve HR tasks. And right now, there is no tool for directors to communicate directly with their employees. I, we are I, think, I think you can, for example, if the answer is many, so all existing solutions assume that your employees have an email address that they actively use, that would, that would resonate with me if that so is that's fact if that's the fact then I, i'd make something like that not only that but on for example taking facebook workplace a public post isn't the best format to solve an hr task you need a smoother way a structured way for the company to actually save time in that process a, a social media post isn't the best format to do that and that's what the, all the communication platforms don't get yeah but you could maybe make that succinct and say all the existing HR solutions assume that people have a company provided email address. That is not how these people, com uh, these, these workers communicate. Um, for example, many companies now resorted to Facebook for workplace and things like that, but there's no, there's no concept of private communication or surveys or whatever there is not, or pay slips in, in that thing. In, in yeah. that. So, it's very clear that existing solutions don't work because they assume the email address and companies are trying to work around it with things that aren't really a good HR system like Facebook workplaces and things like that. Because So there's a maybe a shorter way to say there's a disconnect between uh, where people really are on, they're really on Facebook and what the HR tools they're assumed they're on, email. And we're Finally, an HR tool that meets people where they're at, namely their mobile phone. Perfect. Yeah, that's Perfect. great advice. Also. Why isn't someone already doing this? Because it's the first time that even the lowest income employees of a company have access to a smartphone and good connectivity. So now companies can assume mobile phones as an official way of connectivity. So right now, even the low level and low income employees can become knowledge workers for the first time. I've, I've seen five startups just for, I think in the US, you don't call them low level or something like that. You call, you call the, that category of employees uh, mobile workers and things like that. I've seen like five startups already doing that. So I don't think this is a great answer. I want you to know exactly who else is doing this. And there's multiple companies doing this. Doesn't mean you're, you're, you're gonna lose, but you're, you're not being aware, not telling me, makes me feel like you're delusional. Not, not delusional in a, in a psychiatric sense, but that, it's, you're not running your business properly, I should say. Yeah. 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 So who yeah, are, who are, who are, who, who's already doing this and having success? You mean our direct competitors? Yeah, for sure. There are, for example, Facebook Workplace, Simple, Go, Integro. There are a lot of competitions, but Great. we we focus on, on, on this thing, uniting the communication part and the HR tax part. And we believe this is a gap of opportunity. No company is, is focusing on joining those modules and accelerating internal communication in that way. No, no company solves that uh, joining these two modules and, and focusing on HR tasks where it's a lot of paperwork and manual work uh, handled. Yeah. There. So an acceptable answer could be like, there's a ton of companies already focusing on these uh, workers and they're mostly focusing on about shift management because 
that's probably the biggest problem here to solve sh managing shifts. However, they so there's people focusing there. Plus there's lots of HR companies, but no one is doing like that audience and then the HR tasks. Yeah, that's a great way to put it. Okay, but I wanna hear about who are the successful mobile only, no email address shift management companies. And I bet there's at least five. You can name yeah. the most successful two or something, but give me, give me something. Perfect. You have, like I said, Go Integro, Simper, Jive, uh, Hustle. There yeah. are many companies focusing on that. And they do shift management or they do something else? Yeah, they do communication, uh, HR management, but we, we believe in our go to strategy market and, and with our fierce focus on, on HR tasks, that we can really make a difference and we are proving it with our clients. We are working very close with our clients and we are learning from them every day in a short cycle feedback. And, and we know we can build a great product in, in this space. And what's, what's a, like one that is successful and very similar to you? You, you name one, but pick, 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 pick one. Probably it's Go Integral. Go Integral? Yeah, it's, it's focused on Latin markets. Okay. And what's, what's your differentiation? How are you different? How we different is because they, they are just a social media news feed and take all the part of HR tasks. There's no tool we found that joins the HR communication part and the communication of Okay, so they, they focus on communication more than HR. That's true. Okay, so they're more communication focused and you're HR focused. And you're, the buyer is more, they have an HR problem, not they don't want a generic co communication tool. Yeah. Cool. How did you guys meet? Actually, we met at Salina College. We are, we study software engineering and since we met five years ago, we have done Awesome answer, so. stop there. <laughs> they just want to hear that you met somewhere outside of the business long ago and that you've been good friends ever since. Um, okay. Do you have any clients? Yes, yeah, we, we have one client. Uh, okay, one client. Mm. Um, so how much revenue is that? Uh, if you feel uncomfortable, this is a public stream, so don't say anything you don't want public. Um, but the key, one client is not great. Um, do you have a pipeline of clients or something like that? Yeah, yes. so we have a $100,000 contract for two years with this client, and we didn't put uh, any outbound or inbound sales strategy. Great, great, great. But we have maybe, maybe it's it's we're really simple as humans, although the interview is from YC are the smartest people in the world. How many users do uh, does that client have? How many users does this company have? Three thousand employees, which all use our app. So we have three thousand. Okay. 000. So, do you have any clients? Yes, we got three thousand users, and that's a that's a contract of over a hundred thousand dollars. That sounds just a little bit better than one client, even though it's the same thing. Perfect. Perfect. Actually, one thing I think is very important that we have five open leads without placing any outbound or inbound sales strategy. All these five inbound leads came from recommendation got from- 3,000 active users, if that's true, if your statistics say that they're active. 3,000 active users, that's a $100,000 contract and we get five more similar contracts on that way. All right. Perfect. Perfect. How will you get more clients than the five you're already working on? So our strategy is that we already have a list defined of 15 companies, Argentine companies, that are really, really similar to our current client in terms of size and operations. So for the first year, we want to make sure that we close those five deals and the remaining 10 for the next year. Great. I think that's a good answer. And then you have to have a vision beyond that, but at least you're not delusional and say like, oh, we're going to hire salespeople because you'll have to do all of the selling for the first bunch of people. Right. And it's great that you have a list. So that's a great answer. Right. What's the funniest thing that has happened to you? But 
note, these are from a list of standard YC interview questions. I never heard this question, but I do want to hear the answer. So that's why I'm asking. <laughs> So, Jero, wanna wanna tell the yeah yeah how sure. Uh, it was funny because to close our first contract, we had to travel to a very far Argentine company where this biggest steel producer has a headquarters. So we hadn't sleep for over forty hours because of building product and getting ready for the presentation. When we got there, we had the best presentation of our lives, and we could finally get this customer. That's not funny, but it is good that you did that. And why not stay on message? Um, great. Tell us something surprising you have done. This is uh, the, in the application, they will say, tell me about a time you've hacked a system to your advantage, but they might've changed the interview question, but it's basically, hey, show me your creative. I, I, I think something surprising was closing this 100, thousand dollar deal with the biggest steel producer in the world <laughs> okay just stay on message why not they're looking for something other than that but why not just just keep throwing at them i like it what are your ambitions i think we see enterprise software going mobile in the next year especially with the situation we are we are we are living right now everything is going to go re remote and especially mobile so so we think we have the perfect team to build beautiful products for the enterprise. We also think that enterprise software is awful and very expensive. So we are here to, to ride that wave and build beautiful products for the enterprise. Uh, meh. Like don't tie it to COVID because COVID is gonna be gone. And by that time, YC won't have their money back yet. So like you wanna be, you don't wanna be a COVID company. Um, basically they wanna, I, what, I, what I liked, is enterprise software is gonna become uh, mobile and it's yeah. gonna become lower cost. Silicon Valley certainly believes that. So enterprise software is gonna be mobile and lower cost. We wanna be writing that enterprise. Uh, we wanna be writing, we wanna be making and selling that software. And we think that's a giant business, something like that. Perfect, Perfect. that's so ambitious. Yeah. And then if you want to, if you want to really cater to the audience, you say, we think we, that can be a billion dollar company in five years or something like that. Yeah. But, but yeah. don't say it if you don't, if, if that's not your ambition, yes, that's fine too. Make sure that no, you, think, you keep it something you, you, you genuinely believe and want. Cool. Uh, what does your company do again? So we have an HR application to let blue collar employees solve the HR tasks and do direct communications with their company from their phones without using email. Direct communication with their company. You're basically a WhatsApp for blue collar workers. Probably it, it lets you create target announcements, surveys and solve HR tasks from the phone to the employees who doesn't have a mobile, um, a corporate email or a desktop in front of them. Great, um, I'm teasing you a bit. I pasted the previous answer, like the, the one we settled on in the chat. Um, consider copy pasting that and memorizing that and testing each other on it. It is surprising how many people have a hard time just explaining what their company does in one sentence. So um, for example, at YC, every group meeting starts with every single person saying what their company does. And it's surprising how hard that is. It's surprising how often it changes while you're at YC. Uh, so I, I make sure you nail it and you could, you, you do it at the, you, you train each other on it. It's the one Perfect. question you have to nail. Yes, for sure. We spent, we actually spent hours discussing that question. I think it's the hardest one. Yep, for sure. Um, well, I really enjoyed this. I hope it was helpful. And uh, I think it sounds like you have a great product and uh, you care very much about this space. So I, I think you're, uh, I, I'm, uh, I, hope you, uh, I hope you get into uh, YC, but I, I think one of the most important things is to try to get in and send out the application and align with your co-founder on the mission. Amazing, Thanks. thank you very much, Steve. This was really helpful uh, and I'm glad we were here with you. Awesome. Have a good weekend.
Bye-bye. 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 B